What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys a video to talk about the top five apps that you can use with Android Oreo's new features. The new features of Android Oreo that I detailed in my original top five video. If you guys want to check that out, I'll drop it in the link in the description. So first of all, I'll have a keep document as usual with the features right here. You can see there, I'll drop it below if you guys want to check that out, the text version. The first feature I want to talk about is notification channels. And my favorite third-party app so far that's implemented the notification channels API in Android Oreo is Flamingo. Flamingo is a third-party Twitter client. It's very nice. It's got some nice dark themes you guys can see. It's got a very nice material design to it. It's one of the Twitter clients that I use as well as Phoenix Preview 2 that I've been testing out. And just to show you guys what the notification channels do look like, if you go into apps and notifications, app info, you can scroll down to Flamingo right there, and then you'll find app notifications at the top. You'll see all the different channels you've got there under categories, compose new tweet, direct messages, favorite users, followers, likes, mentions, new tweet and retweets. So for instance, if you don't want to turn off likes and retweets, you can do that. You can also go in there and determine whether or not you want to show a notification dot, whether or not you want the LED light to show, uh, whether or not you want to override do not disturb for this particular notification. It's very useful to take granular control of your notifications in general, but with Flamingo, you can do it with your Twitter notifications. This also works in the stock Twitter app as well as Gmail and a few other Google apps, but this is a great app to demonstrate it with. The next feature is Maps slash YouTube uh, in the picture in picture mode. Now, Maps has not worked for me. I'll show you guys really quick how it's supposed to work and then I'll show you how to turn it on. But so far, I haven't been able to get it to work on mine. I've noticed a lot of people have the same issue. But YouTube, I've demonstrated before the picture in picture functionality. If you have a video, you're watching it like this, just hit the home button. Now you've got a little window that you can drag around and watch it, which is really nice. And then of course, you can expand it and go back to the main YouTube window. Now the same thing is supposed to work with maps. As soon as you enter navigation, you're supposed to be able to go in. So if I hit start on the navigation, you're supposed to be able to go in here and then go ahead and hit the home button. And then it's going to show me a little box there like it did with YouTube, but it doesn't actually do that. And I'm not really sure why, because if you go into the settings here, you guys can see if you go to apps and notifications, app info, and we navigate to maps, you'll see that I have the picture in picture option enabled. It's just not actually working when I go home. So you can see here at the very bottom, advanced picture in picture, you can choose to turn it on or off. And I do in fact have it on with the most recent version of maps. So I think this might be rolling out on the server side switch. Um, so hopefully it'll come around and start working soon, but right now it's not working for me, but give it a try on your own maps and see if it works on your pixel. All right, so that's the second feature, picture in picture with a couple of Google apps there. And before we get on to the third app, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Videoblocks. Videoblocks has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, After Effects, and motion backgrounds. The really cool thing about this is if you are an aspiring creator, YouTuber, this does all give the commission back to the original artists that create this stock footage, these stock backgrounds that you use. They're 100% royalty free, which means if you use them in your YouTube videos, you don't have to worry about getting hit with copyright claims and your videos getting taken down, etc. My favorite are the backgrounds themselves so that you can use them for product photography, like showing off smartphones. You guys can see a couple of the options there on the screen. Very, very nice. And the best part about all of this is that they are giving away seven days of video blocks for free so that you can try it out and get access to the huge video library royalty free. Go to videoblocks.com backslash YouTube or click my link in the description box to download and get seven days free of video blocks. Again, thank you to video blocks for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, so let's get back into the third app, and that is two apps in one, Spotify and Pocket Cast. They both show off the new media overlays in the notification shade. So first I'll show you Pocket Cast, which is my favorite podcasting app. If you're listening to a podcast like Material, you will see this right here. You can see our core, very nice coloration, the new media notifications. I really, really love that. It looks very slick. Uh, you can also see it if you have Spotify playing. I don't want to play any copyrighted music for too long, but if we go, you can see the very nice coloration. It basically takes the album art and pulls the colors from the album art, which looks really, really slick. I mean, obviously this is not something that's going to necessarily make it a lot easier to use Android on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's definitely going to make it look cleaner, make it look nicer. All right, so the fourth feature in app is LastPass. 
and the autofill feature, the autofill API within Android Oreo. Now I've been playing with this. It is actually in beta form. So if you wanna get this, you have to go to their beta and sign up. You guys can see right here in the Play Store that I am indeed signed up for the beta for LastPass. I've enabled the autofill option, but it still doesn't work for me very well. So I'll show you really quick. It's supposed to work great within shopping apps like Nordstrom, for instance. If you're in checkout and you go here, you're supposed to be able to go here and tap on autofill and it's supposed to work. But as you can see, it doesn't. Uh, it also doesn't work in Chrome yet. Um, I've been trying numerous apps to see if I can find one where it actually does work. I'll show you guys how to enable it just so that you can see I do indeed have it enabled. Go to the settings and go to system. And then once you go to system, you're gonna go to languages and input, go down to advanced, and then you can see autofill service right there. And you can see I do have LastPass enabled. So if you have any profiles in LastPass with your personal information, it's supposed to allow you to autofill, but it just hasn't worked for me. I've tried Nordstrom, Macy's, uh, Amazon, and eBay. None of them have worked so far. Uh, they do say they're working on it, but again, this is mainly apps to try out new features. So if you download it and try it with some shopping apps that you have, let me know if it works for you. I'd be really interested to see if there's anything it's working with, and I'm sure some updates will be coming. The very last one is going to be one that's not quite available yet, but will be in the next few days. That's Substratum, which is gonna bring amazing rootless theming to Android. So the guys over at XDA Developers, as they always do, bring us the greatest news for customization and theming Android. Android Oreo is gonna receive rootless system-wide theming, supposedly within one week of August 24th, which obviously didn't happen because now it's already September 4th and it hasn't happened. Basically, the gist of it is Substratum is a customization theme engine uh, for rooted devices running custom ROMs. But thanks to some changes in the way themes have been implemented in Android Oreo, you can now do this without root. And those guys are going to bring us an app, which is gonna be a paid app that you can download on the Play Store. And you'll be able to theme your device using Substratum without actually rooting it, which is amazing. And you can see some of the screenshots here uh, from the theming that they did in a little tutorial. I'll drop a link to that as well as their little YouTube video that they did showing off this theming. I'll definitely keep you guys up to date on when this goes live over on my Twitter. So if you wanna check that out, uh, you can just follow me below. All right, so those are my five apps that you can use with the new features of Android Oreo. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. Again, find all the other information, including signing up for a free trial of video blocks below. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.